Hi, I'm guessing you're here because this is most likely your first research paper or you just got into grad school or you just recently started your research career. Maybe you are lecturing and one of the requirements is to publish an article. Maybe it is, maybe it is not. Maybe you're just keen on research or you have that group project that you need to submit for high school and you get a nagging question, how do I publish a research article? Well, keep watching to find out. Before I get into the nitty gritty, you should know that there are different types of publication. You have the journal papers and the conference papers. Conference papers are those ones that you present at a conference and they're published in the conference proceedings or in the conference organizers journals while journal papers are those ones that you submit directly to a journal. Journal paper takes longer to publish from one month, three months, up to 12 months in extreme cases. I have a case that took more than 12 months, but that is a story for another day. However, journal paper holds more points than conference papers. Now, this video is for journal articles. Again, there are different types of journal articles, as you will see in the list here. The common one that people go for are review articles and the original research papers. Here, are we talking mostly on the original research papers. So what's the process or step to publishing a research paper? Step number one, select a research problem. Find a research problem in your subject area, in your research field. It could be a gap in application of a technology. It could be optimizing a production. It could be optimizing the way surveys are done. It could be creating an easier technique to monitor process or monitor growth or conducting study. But you have to identify a problem that you intend to solve. Now, how do you find problems? How do you find these research gaps? This brings us to our next step, review papers. Read review papers. Review papers focus on what has been done in that area, how they did it, what can be done to make it better. So they summarize past research in that field, giving recommendations for future work. More than that, review papers identify recent advances on that topic or in the subject area or the research that you are looking at. So you, you can jump on these topics for your research paper. Also read past research papers because some of them give recommendations for future work, which again, you can also use for your research article. Step three, after you've identified the research gap or the problem by reading this review paper, you move on to finding a better solution that will fill up that gap. It could be applying a common technology or advanced technology to a different material. It could be decreasing the time it takes to do a certain task, thus you're increasing efficiency. In my case, it was applying an advanced technology to a native plant that has not really been studied before. That is novelty. Or you, in your case, you can try to compare different analytical methods, find the one that is best. That way, future users will not have to do the trial and error again. They just quote you. You know, so there are different ways you can profile solution to a research gap. The whole idea is to make sure that you are filling a gap and that the technique or process or whatever you're proposing is novel. So it's sort of unique. It's not like you're repeating someone else's work. After you've proposed the solution and you've done your research and all that and put them together, you now have to find a journal. I've made a video on how you can select a journal. The link is here at the top right corner of this video, or you can check the description box. I've also put the link down here on how you can select your target journal. After you selected your target journal, the next step is to follow the journal guidelines. Read the guidelines of the journal. Journal guidelines vary per journal, so don't expect to do copy and paste. Agree there are some areas where they overlap, especially when it comes to formatting, but it's always good to read the journal 
guidelines, the ones that you, are, you plan on publishing your paper with, to avoid rejection. And after you've read the guidelines and done your changes according to those guidelines, you submit your manuscript. Manuscript is what journal call papers that you plan to publish, regardless of the type of publication you want to make, they call it manuscript. So when you submit your manuscript, they are subjected to peer-to-peer -peer review, which means people, that's authors like you, with skill in that area, would review your, your manuscript against the journal guidelines and the quality of articles that those journals take. It's a free service, so this is where it takes a lot of time for some journal. Once this is done, your paper would either be accepted, which is very, 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 very rare, or it will be reverted for minor corrections where you will revise and resubmit, or major corrections, again, you will revise and resubmit, or it is rejected. Don't worry if your research paper gets rejected. There are very many reasons why your research paper may be rejected. It could be that you don't meet the scope of the journal. That's why it's good to watch my video on how to select your target journal. Or you are missing some information that the journal needs. Or your format doesn't match that of the journal article or the journal format. So again, it's always good to read the guidelines. Whatever the reasons, I know it hurts to get rejected and makes you feel like your work is not good enough. I know that feeling and it's not a good feeling at all. But don't worry. Take it like a feedback. Take the comment, use that to improve your article by just implementing the relevant ones and then retry with another journal. If you need assistance in publishing, I'm happy to assist you. Contact me via my blog, thesassyengineer.com. All the best with your publication, the beginning of life as a researcher. Woo, woo. I'm so proud of you. Send me a link when you publish. And again, if you need assistance with publishing, let me know by contacting me on my blog, thesassyengineer.com. Until next time, bye now.